See that? Bobby pin. Boink. I'm like Pod Black is Bobby pin. That makes sense. Open silo door. Oh, I picked up the whole thing. Manufactured by a, about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. Possibly because its lens were put on it backwards. <laughs> Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Not just a silo, it's an observatory. A pile of corn kernels. Sweeped it! Clean the pile of corn kernels with the thing. What did I get? Neil knows pliers. What's this? A weathered, tattered blueprint. Though it's hard to make it out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a fa farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an agricultural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. <laughs> right in the middle of the blueprints it says, Why did we build all of this? CO-103? <laughs> Why did we build all of this? Use the needle nose players on the meat grinder. Oh. I'm gonna check this way really quick. I said it wasn't unlocked. Stop pressing Q. I, I haven't pressed Q at all. Except for when he said something. This guy doesn't have any corn on the top of him yet. Very fashionable fedora. What is this? A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you are you have not earned the right. On the inner tag the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Pressing Q will be relevant later. I can see that. A charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it was near, and it, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize that you were trying to read the whole thing upside down the whole time. Fernando! Holy crap, I didn't even realize this guy was here. Did I seriously walk past him the whole time? Wow, okay. That's a hand, a glove severed hand. Fernando got electromacuted. And you got that right. I really like the flavor text of this. <laughs> oh, Gabe. Key fob out of sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. Oh, the the key fob has a little DNA helix on it. I'm not gonna read it, but yep. CD, the severed hand, and wait, the key fob. There's no key on it.
English muffin is going to be like the last thing in the entire game that you need. Go in the attic. Oh, place key fob on the workbench. I malleted <laughs> the key fob is, has been smashed good and flat. Yep. Are you sure you haven't played this game before? the hand in the sink. Gross. Why? I'm very smart. <sighs> no. Loosen the glove from the severed hand. It's slightly disgusting. <laughs> All right, so the CD is the, the circle. All right, so the only shadow is what I'm holding. Boom. Boom. I'm not into jump scares and things. Hey! 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 You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he oh, president right, every then. time? No, I did been a vote unclear on the election. I didn't vote for him. <coughs> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Who oh boy. This game is the best. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on... Overbought on food pellets and we have to get rid of them somehow, Bob. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Wait a still pellet.
Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, okay, so, Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It took us, it takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Hiya, Ted, don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and I have to get rid of them somehow. <laughs> so they did a Pavlovian dog. <laughs> So they, they bought too many pellets, so they they had to do it a few times. Faculty brochure. Experiment successful. Whoa, okay. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the pro proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Welcome to the future is. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually think the Gale to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a, a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hi, hey, Ted. Don't worry. I got a deal. <laughs> Commission these statues in bulk. <laughs> I think they really spruce the, up this facility, especially for the tour. Could be a huge money maker for us. Big money maker. Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't. We can't ha 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 host, host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put on the one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, you idiot. Class cordially, Ted. That's Ted. Ted. Bob P. McTavish, PhD, MA, BSC, DOP, Esquire, Founder. anything on me so this was real bronze in it it corroded <laughs> Ted he bought those those in stock so when he spent that like Five hundred thousand dollars or whatever per statue. You got those in stock or in bulk. Hi, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? game's cool. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot. You've got a deal on them because they they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Cordially, Ted. These are all the jumpsuits. <laughs> <laughs> An invoice for a large amount of jumpsuits. <laughs> 